this is a very important eye condition not only for beauty reasons but also for vision purposes normally this happens during childhood itself there are two basic types of squints one called as concomitant squint second one is called as concomitant or paralytic squint in concomitant squint whatever the angle of deviation with the difference will persist in all gazes of vision when you look up down right side you know more or less the same angle of difference will remain but in paralytic squint in certain gazes the eye looks straight and in certain gazes when the person looks to the right or left or up or down depending on the kind of incompetence the angle of deviation varies that apart the squint itself you know is very important for certain reasons one is a person having squint will be able to see clearly from one eye and the other eye vision is blurred or not useful to the or more on vision of the person the reason is when a person looks at any object both eyes have to see the same object and the same image has to be processed at the brain level to make it into one image but in squint one eye is looking at point a other one may be looking at point b and hence a and b can't be combined so these people will have what is called as double vision or the vision from one of the eyes is not at all recognized or is suppressed at the brain level and hence squint or cross eyes is not only of cosmetic significance not only of beauty significance but also of vision significance what are the causes generally there are three causes of squint one is the muscles moving the eyes may be weak some muscles may be weak or some muscles may be overactive another one is there could be some amount of refractive error or spectacle number difference in one eye and the other eye leading to a condition called as lazy eye which in turn results in a kind of a squint other one is there could be an internal abnormalities inside the eye because of which the vision is blurred and the eye is not participating in the vision leading to a kind of a resting position or a uh, non participating role of the eye leading to kind of a deviation of the eye whatever it is sometimes even the refractive error spectacle number high spectacle number if it is there that also leads to spin. whatever it is it needs to be treated who is the best person to treat regular eye testing and going to optometrist will not help you have to meet your ophthalmologist he has to examine in detail as to what is the cause of the squint whatever i told is about the concomitant squint or the standard squint that we see for incompetent squint the situation is little more serious if there is paralysis of any of the muscles then a more detailed examination not only by an eye, eye specialist but also by a neurologist sometimes involving ct scan or mri scan is required to find out which part of the brain which nerve is not functioning and due to what reason so on next squint means you must see a eye doctor in the early stages in the ch- children if it is recognized and if the treatment is given we can restore the vision we can also align the eyes how do we align the eyes roughly speaking one third of the patients require having squint can just be corrected through eye exercises so doctor will teach them what kind of exercises what muscles are to be strengthened about one third of the patients can be treated by spectacles itself and another one third of the patients may require some kind of a surgical correction where the surgeon will strengthen a muscle or if muscle is overacting he will slightly weaken the muscle so that the when the eye moves they move in alignment and squint is not there and both the eyes take part in the visual process during the treatment of squint sometimes sometimes the eye which is lagging behind or the eye which is not getting 
participatory role in vision because of its alignment or because of its spectacle number or because of some reason or a lazy eye or an eye which is getting suppressed it has to be given an attention and hence there could be a patching of the active eye the eye which is doing well will be patched so that the other eye will be entrenched for some time patching is also process of some sweet treatment given children to bring up the vision of both the eyes to same level so if you notice squint in a child or if you notice squint somewhere or in somebody else you just tell them that it cannot be ignored should not be ignored and there are treatments and they can see enough for all this thank you